It's a doggy dog world. I swear to God, it is. It's you just an easy way out. Like, how you claim to be, oh, thug is like your main man, the WYSL, but you telling everybody that's a game. Like, but you have people who are regular ass niggas who are setting up for thug more than you are. I'm just yeah, scared you're gonna lose the key. That's my biggest fear. You lose the key on me, I swear oh, to God. some Gerald's game shit. <laughs> <laughs> you lose the key on me. You can have a heart attack and die. Like, um, I'm like a masculine, like I'm very, I'm not very feminine as much as I should be, but I like a masculine in this, so like, I think I can like, you know, tone me down will be great. That's if you can tell me what to do, mm -hmm. then you can tell me what to do. But if you can't tell me what to do, you can't tell me what to do. I think this is everybody's hygiene. Ooh, ooh, bloopers. <laughs> Whole lot of blue greens, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, so it's Pop and Amy J. I'm going back to the YouTube video. Welcome to episode two of Stew Blog. We are here with... Just Kai. I'm Jay. Hey, hey, hey. In today's video, we're going to talk about um, non-sexual turn-offs, turn-ons, or sexual turn-ons. So a little bit of both. Non-sexual turn-offs. I think this is everybody's hygiene. Ooh, ooh, ladies, <laughs> don't come in here. <laughs> don't come in my room. Smell like kind of bounce that ass. It's bounce that ass. Fresh or the fish market. Shit. Okay, listen. <laughs> Like, if you in my house and you need to take, you know, you need to freshen up a little bit, go ahead, take it, do, do what you gotta do, baby. Do what you gotta do. Because at the end of the day, it's a successful night if we're both clean, all right? Some people, like, feel like, you know, put on deodorant. That's fucking weird. Like that white guy who didn't wash his, his, his ass what? on Twitter. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's, so there's a video on Twitter that came out. Um, she basically had marked like where the soap was, mm -hmm. and she saw that he didn't move it because the soap wasn't the, the soap mark wasn't destroyed. So she asked him like, "Baby, did you wash? Did you use soap?" He was like, "No, I just used the water." I'm like, "What the hell? Like, no, yo, you if you use soap. listen, if you know somebody that's doing that, find help, please. Seek the nearest police department. For real, mm -hmm. we'll have the link in the bio. <laughs> but it's sad." Because I feel like, I feel like at a certain point, like, you know what's going to happen. Say, like, you know, me and you, we were talking for quite some time. Yeah. And we both planned this. Not planned this, but we both know what's about to happen. You come to my house, smelling like shit. <laughs> Breast smelling like shit. No deodorant on. Be, you're going to be blocked the next morning. Like coming after eight hour shift is crazy. Like, all right, if you gotta work, if you're coming from work, wear some to go, you know, some clothes, some stuff so you can take a shower and just smell nice, like, you know, like, you know. But I'm pretty sure all, you know, some niggas been to those situations before. Unfortunately, it was not me. Okay? It could, it could never. But, hey! Let me. <laughs> hey! hey. But that's the big sexual turn off for me. The turn off. Turn off. Turn off. You said turn off. I said turn off. Yeah, no, turn off. Turn off. I would say from a field perspective, I guess like definitely hygiene. Um, like if you don't look clean, like not saying you gotta, you gotta have a whole exfoliation, you know, period or whatever, you want a routine or that's cool, you know. Soft black men era, definitely get that down pat. But like you should you you can know when somebody's clean and when someone's not clean. Like it's pretty much hard. It's not hard to tell. Like visibly, are they clean? Like how they carry themselves? Mm -hmm. Like have you been in somebody's house? Like is the house clean? Like simple stuff like that. Like so. Yeah. Cleanliness is next to godliness. What about you, Jay? Yeah. I would say hygiene as well. I judge you based on your appearance. Like, if you don't look clean, I'm not gonna approach you. Or, like, you just don't turn me on. I'm just gonna look the other way. But yeah, I think hygiene is like the biggest key. 
Do y'all do y'all get like butt ass naked? What? Having sex with somebody, bro. It's just like, like, this. like I think I have to get that out of the way because, because, like, I feel like because you have the niggas that keep the shirt on, you know, and you have, and then you have the female that's insecure about their body, so they'll keep the shirt on. But then you have the the bold niggas that just socks on, socks off type niggas. That's the only thing. That's the only clothing they got. For me, it depends. Like, if it's just like some regular stuff, like, oh, like, we're not really like together, but we just like, you know, doing what it do. I don't really care. Like, I mean, don't hit me with like, you know, a coat on. Like, what the fuck? If you fuck with a hoodie on, you know, yeah, a hoodie you is a crazy. different breed. Like, a shirt is cool, socks are cool, but I don't want to see, like, niggas be having bad feet. Like, I do, I hate feet. I hate feet. So, like, I, I don't want to see your feet, bro. Please. But yeah, I don't really care. Me personally, I mean, whatever is in the moment, like, I'm not gonna think it's like the whole Twilight episode scene, like, it's so, like, played out, but like, mm -hmm. I don't really care. Let me tell you something. The turn on for me, you gotta be nasty. You know, some people be like, oh, nah, you gotta match by nastiness, but nah, you gotta be nasty. What nasty you? Yeah, like, how nasty are you talking? I wanna hear this one. <laughs> <laughs> you be doing it in there. <laughs> 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 nah, man. I mean, I mean, listen. If you want, if you want, I'm, I'm not saying. What's stick the nastiest thing you've done? The nastiest thing I ever done? Yeah. Say the ass. Yes. Say the ass. Nah. Um. The nastiest thing I ever done for real, for real. Um. I only. Ah, damn. I did some foul shit back in my day. What's oh, foul? So like, 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 looking back at it, I never know why. Like, it's be the drunk moments, man. You, when I'm just, listen, it's the drunk moments. Like, you just be doing whatever at that point. Um, I definitely spit in, in the drunk mouth before. Not like big ass hoogie, like. That's nah, definitely done that. Um, that's calm. It's, it's very calm, calm, you know. That shit is not calm for me. <laughs> do, not, do not pop a mean ass loogie in my mouth. No, 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 I said no loogie, though. Oh, in my ass is fine. I did that before. But, like. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Not the, not the name. Like. That wasn't a full on, like, you know, New York City said... ground. Like, like, that shit, like. Hits the ground, like, mm -hmm. but it was like a definitely, like, you know, a little drop there, like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, yeah, I was definitely like, nah, man. Listen, I'm, I'm a, listen, I like to be chill, all right? I ain't talking about it. Don't suffocate my ass. Some like, niggas hate that, though. Hey, like, niggas it's a little nice like little, niggas you know, don't they like act that. like you in charge for, for a few minutes. Some niggas don't like that, honestly. I like, like that shit. I like it, man. Cause you know, I don't. Cause like that's that's telling me that you're trying. <laughs> I don't. Want, I hate. I hate people that I hate don't when try. Like, I hate when it's one sided. That's what I'm saying. Nah, you, gotta, like, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta be. You gotta meet me halfway, baby. Don't so, sit here. so what type of sexual partner are y'all? Are y'all the more like dominant person or y'all the more like submissive person? You want the girl, girl, my boy. I'm more dominant. Oh yeah, dom. I would but, say dominant, but but you know she can be a little. Um, as well. Yeah, it's certain positions that a man just can't be dominant in. All right? You have to meet me in different states. Sober wise, I'm chill. Drunk wise, that's a different. Drunk story. wise, it's a, it's a fun time. High yeah. wise, I'm like chill as hell. Like when I'm high, I don't want to do too mm -hmm. much. Drunk. Listen, you bring. I, I, I always tell people that when you're drunk, that shit brings out. It brings out the. When I'm high, I can't feel anything though. Mm -hmm. I can't feel anything when I'm high. I know what you mean. It's yeah, like, like, like you're doing it, but like, the turned on for me is like I'm not gonna say experience, but like if you know what you're doing, then you know what you're doing. Like I feel, I feel as though like we're at a stage where you can't just teach everybody everything. All right, if you don't know, like if you don't know how to do it, speak now or forever hold your peace because yeah, I'm not teaching nobody how to give head. I'm not doing that. I'm you gotta teach yourself at that point. Right. You gotta teach yourself, young kings. Teach yourself. Don't be afraid to go down there. Mm, I seen this shit on Twitter. 
if you had to ask your spouse for head, should you cheat? If you have to ask for head, Ooh. I wouldn't sit here. As, I feel like you gotta know your girl first. Of yeah, you know like I mean, after the first, like if it's a constant thing, then like at this point, like what is she like? Come on, come on, because that's some bullshit. Like I had a long day. <laughs> Sensational. Right. I had a very long day. If I'm telling you about my day, I want you to sit there while every put your hair in a fucking ponytail to let me know I'm about to have a wonderful night. Okay? I'm coming home. I'm putting I'm putting my body out of line to keep this house. Or put food on the fucking table. At least I'm a big suck after a while. You know, you know what I'm saying? It should be on, it should be on command. Just how you have to be asking, oh, that should be on command. I like, why well, I gotta ask you? It should be on command. My part in it is like, if I like you, like, you gotta, like, if a girl really likes you, you'll know. Like, if she's just like, uncommit, like not on command, just doing it for no reason, that's when a girl really fuck with you. Well, look how she ate that. Like, but if she not, yeah, if she not, then you might have to, you know, ask. But that's <laughs> you got to ask. Okay, a little song song. Can I get that, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you're going to be like, please. <laughs> because there's some people out there that do it. Like, come on, baby. Do something. <laughs> come on. Come on. <laughs> like, come on. Do that thing. <laughs> do that thing. I can't go to sleep tonight if you don't do that thing. Come on. Oh, I'm going to masculine ass nigga. <laughs> 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 I can't speak, I mean, I can speak. Um, I like a masculine, like I'm very, I'm not very feminine as much as I should be, but I like a masculine man, so like, I think I can like, you know, tone me down, it'll be great. That's the sexual dream. Mm -hmm. Like just his presence, and I don't know. I, I'm a big mood setter, you know, I, I like when you know where just vibe and everything's running smoothly, it's natural. It's not like one like my brother Jay would say, it's fine one side. I like being told to do this. If you can tell me what to do, then you can tell me what to do. But if you can't tell me what to do, you can't tell me what to do. Um, like I I'm I'm more of a like I right, you know, we had a wonderful night, you know, we in the bed we coming in, this just happened. It, it's not all right, fuck it. Like I, if I gotta ask you to fuck and you my jaw, you no longer my jaw no more because what? You know what I'm like. like can you imagine asking your boyfriend to some dick? I'm gonna just take it, I don't know. <laughs> it is what it is. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> I like the spit in the mouth. I like the I like the choking. While she ride me home. Like you can't choke me right now. I'll drop you a cigarette right now, yo. If you, if I can't, I can't do it. I don't care. We could be married for 30 years. No big toe would ever be in my fucking mouth. I, I had my toes sucked before. It was alright. They didn't really do anything to me, though. See, like, what kind of sexual pleasure you get? And then on top of that, what does that feel like? Yeah. This feels like somebody's on your toe. Like, the fuck is your mouth? Like, just, like, feeling, like, you ever touch somebody's mouth? I mean, their tongue? Like, while not kissing? Yeah. Yeah, it just feels like that, but it's on your toe. Like, just, it's alright. Yo, I ain't gonna judge y'all niggas who, who suck themselves out there, but. It's some quick nasty niggas out here, I don't know. Yeah. It's alright, though. It's not you haven't good. tried handcuffs before? I've never tried props, toys, none of that. I mean, like, I ain't gonna lie to you, that's just scary out first. When you first get handcuffed, I'm just scared you're gonna lose a key. That's my biggest fear. You lose the key on me, I swear to God. On some drugs game shit. <laughs> you lose the key on me. You can have a heart attack and die. Like. <laughs> <laughs> the 
the guys, this persona, and all. You know, group is like, but as for your, for you being a female, you know, what, how do you feel? Like, what do you think? Do you think that's love right there? No. Knows what's going on. Mm-hmm. Like, he knows what's going on more than her because he's been famous longer than her. So he knows what it's like to be in the public eye. But um, I feel like it's more so him than it is her. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like, no, it's her. Like, you know, she's hitting him, da da da. He hasn't left her. Because his team said, like, oh, like, you know, she's bad for business. You know, you haven't made any music. You haven't been on tour. I've definitely seen like, that. Like, we're losing money. But I also feel like it's helping his career because I'm going to stay relevant. So. You definitely I, need to know. Yeah, yeah, like. Let me just say this, right? And I see where y'all coming from, but all publicity is not good publicity. No, and I, re- I seen, yeah, and I seen that clipping of on WAC 100 saying, you know, she is bad for business because in no reality, let's be, I'm gonna call it spade to spade. Like, why? Like after that Kai interview, I wouldn't want her nowhere near my shit. And I'm not saying just me in general. But I'm just saying, like, after that type of incident, I don't care who's at fault, like, do a chair from somebody's fucking Yeah, like, if we rent an Airbnb and she had the shit, I already know we lose the deposit off rip. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, she had the shit. Yeah, like, I already know we lose the deposit off rip. Like, you know, not getting something back. And you there. know, the thing is, Kassan, it's like, she seems like she was one of those girls like, that was very, like, nice. Like, she was like, she nice she, and she probably is nice for real, for real. But like it goes back to what I said, like love, love makes you do crazy things, man. I feel like nobody. She grew up unchecked. We could tell when somebody grows up unchecked, where they just say anything. They they mm-hmm. think they're above anything. Like nobody really. <clears throat> and her parents weren't really involved in her life because they had their own stuff going on. And mind you, she's like one of seven kids, something like that. So, I don't, yeah, I don't understand unchecked. how you wish somebody that knocked your mother out and then your boyfriend knocked your father out. But like it's. Where they do that at? She don't see it as an issue though. Cause that's what she grew up on. Oh no, yeah, obviously, but like, even though me watching that video, should her father have put hands on him? No, I don't think so. I think that was some crazy shit, but the way how he, I'd rather him have that little scuffle and then walked away, but he stuck her father. And that nigga, he, 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 he was, he put him out. But at the same time, I feel as though with this situation, they're not, and I don't think the people see, like, she, I feel like he is trying his best by doing so much bad shit to the point where she, he's doing shit so he could, she could break things off. I feel like he don't want to break things off with her. Because I don't think he knows how to at this point. I think he just doesn't want to. I think he likes to say. Like, no, nah, yeah, he. I think he likes it, but I think it comes to a point where it's like, how much longer am I gonna do this? I mean, you can see in the clip that he's fed up, but like, he's he's like, it's like being stuck in a job you hate, but it pays. Yeah, yeah. Like that, like that feeling of like, oh, like I can leave. Like there's nothing stopping you from leaving, but you also like you need this, you need this job right now because you have nothing else. Like nah, him, yeah. he not about to make more music. Like, he's not about to get brand deals because he out here being treated as a domestic abuser, like. For real. And, you know, it's crazy because, like, a lot of people like, oh, well, every song that he makes won't won't be a bop. Listen, you play Bust Down Dantiana in the club, everybody sing that shit. All right? He goes to a club to perform that shit. Club paid him to walk in there just to sip on a bottle. He got enough and to leave. be comfortable though. Oh yeah, he, yeah has, sure. he has enough, but like at the same time, I get why Wax said she's a problem because you know, after a while, like how, we don't know his financial. Yeah. She gonna get him killed <clears throat> on some bullshit. Yeah. On some takeoff shit, it's gonna be like some random shit. He gonna end up dead. So shit. someone, and I, I forgot who said this to me, but this relationship's gonna either end up someone going to jail for a long time or someone getting hurt. And I think it, like for that, for this relationship to break off, I think it's, that's one of those two are going to happen. It's sad yeah. because it's our own people, but at the same time, it can never be my daughter. Cause I'll be damned. I just feel like they're both addicted to fame. Like, fame, money and fame do some crazy shit too, man. 
it really will do some crazy shit too. Cause let's call, I'm gonna call her a second of being like, she's not ugly. It's really the tooth that gets me sometimes. <laughs> but she's not ugly at she, all. She was a very talented athlete as well. Yeah. She ran track. She ran track. She ran track. She plays like some football league. Yeah, like, but I don't know, bro. Like, I can't let my daughter go on those type of shows. For real. Because that all started with the, what? The Blue Face Club? Bad, bad Girls, Girls Club? Blue Girls Club. Yeah, it all started with that. And then she got her two knocked the fuck out and then now she can't. But I don't know, but listen. I just, and it doesn't hurt. I mean, it doesn't help that everybody's using her as a meal ticket, like her family. No. Um, notice how they have the same thing. Zeus. Her sister is pregnant. She's starting a music career. Like, they're all using her. Like, she said it multiple times in um, the, the song that she was on in Zeus with um, Natalie Nunn. She said, like, oh, I have to take care of my family. Because she's only going to be making money from this shit. Like, she's doing shows and shit now. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's where most of her income is coming from. And the new show with um, Blueface. But, like, I feel like she said she's doing it mostly for her family, too. Because her family can't really, like, come up with nothing for her. <clears throat> but, like, this, you could grind for your family. I get it. But, like, at the expense of if you're emotional. Like, she's gained so much weight. She looks older. Her voice is deeper. It's more raspy. Or she's drinking all the time. Like, she's not the same person that used to be posting pictures of her track meet on Instagram. She's not the same person. So, I feel like she's just, like, getting the worst part of fame. And, like, now that she's stuck in this mold of, like, a product of domestic abuse, she can't. She feels like she can't really grow out of it. I just feel, I just feel so when it comes, like it comes to a point where it's like, how much, like, how much more, huh? Like, because it's like, it's just like, we, we have people like, I feel so like, we give them so much energy yeah. to this shit. And like, we, we, we gotta be the one to blame too, because like, there's no way in hell they should've got a reality show. I'm sorry. Zeus was, there was so hungry though. Like, I mean. there was no way they should have had a reality show. Yeah. But we, we, we the one who created it. We wanted to see what the hell goes on behind the scenes. Two, she don't want to get help. Cause she believes in her mind that everything is going fine. Yeah. And like, it's the difference between toxic love and then just pure fuckery. This is pure fuckery at its best. Oh, fuck. Like, Bro, like both of them. She could just do shows for the rest of her natural born life. People will pay her to show up at a club, 50k, boom, mm -hmm. or invest in something. But like, she feel like being at the public eye and having this negative image trait have portrayed against her is like the right thing. It's sad. Bro. It's like everybody, you in high school or you in college, there's a rumor about you. And you just live in a rumor. Like, no, bro. Like, you don't have to, literally. Don't have to. I think Thug is getting out. No. You know, I had a good conversation with some of my um, pe my people about that. Um, I really don't know. I was saying this. this. Is a confusing ass case. Only reason why this is a confusing ass case because they don't have hardcore evidence to the point where it's like, yeah, this you done this. Especially when they started to change laws about the whole using lyrics. Yeah, they changed a lot. Like, because you know, yeah. the whole case about to get dropped. My thing, my thing about it is, just like when you use another artist's lyrics, you're basically some people just lie. We have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. All right, obviously we see the six nine people where they lie and they rap. Some people tell the truth, some people lie. Most of them lie because let's be for real, it sells. So like I can sit here and rap about you know, doing all this gang life stuff, but I don't, I never step foot outside. Good. <clears throat> you get what I'm saying? But, and that's, a, that's interesting, cause I feel, I feel as though like, the gunner taking that plea deal, I don't know, man. I don't, cause like, it's hard, it's hard to like, really come back to or rap about what you rap about when you, you deal with shit like this. Cause look at Six Nine, what can Six Nine say in his rap? No. Nothing, nothing at all. But I will tell you this: if Young Thug beats this ch this case, and he drops the first day out, that shit gonna go hard. It's about to go hard. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. He is king slime. The biggest slime. <laughs> but now like it tells you it shows you like this cake, this like cork cake, like this whole thing is, is a joke because like it's not if people think it's a federal Rico, it's only an Atlanta Rico. Meaning like only the city of Atlanta want him in jail. Yeah. You know? And then on top of that, I call this I call these nigga charges. He's only getting charged with nigga shit. Oh, Lord have mercy. Another coon. He, huh? <laughs> For real. He's only getting charged with weed. What What else? Like, all the extra stuff that we all... Like, Gang activity. Yeah, like, he... Like, nigga charges that niggas usually beat. Because how many charges... How many counts he had him on? Like, what, 59? Some shit like that? 60? And most of them are starting to get dropped. Like, he has... Now he's getting charged with eight, eight shits. Out of, like, 60-something. The DA might as well drop the case. I just... At this point, they might as well because... It's no hardcore... Like, what are you going to use? A, a recording tape? I can sit here and record something and basically lie. I just, I just feel like if he is going to serve time, it's going to be like... Under five years, like a probationary charge. Like, oh, we had an unregistered gun. Like a year My thing is, why? Why he has? Who? Who? Who gave him that? What was it? Twenty pages, thirty pages? Of like, he has a break. Oh, cause um, they had missed it. One of the jurors had missed some shit. Mm -hmm. And it's not like doing jail time. The judge made like a like, thirty-page essay on some shit. Oh, you yeah. Man, I was just jail time at that point. I'm not gonna lie to you. But actually, no, we're not. I would just do the 30 pages. <laughs> How long is the jail time, bro? I don't think that long. That's probably not your record, of weeks. though. Oh, yeah, that's true. Look, my, but here's my thing. Let me ask y'all this. Gonna take a plea deal. How do y'all feel about that? Is that a form of snitching or is it a form of just. I don't feel like he snitch snitched. Um, the clip where he did say that YSL is a gang and not a label, that definitely. First of all, they be unfollowed him today. Well, they be unfollowed him. Mm -hmm. And um, I just feel like we let you slide with the first time when niggas accused him of cheating. That was a while ago. And he said he didn't snitch. He's like, all right, boom, that was a while ago. We don't have that much. That's before he was famous. But this time, you can't just like be gunning and start snitching. Like, it's just, you just an easy way out. Like, how you claim to be, oh, Thug is like your main man, that da you why sell, but you tell everybody that's a game. Like, but you have people who are regular ass niggas who are sitting up for Thug more than you are. Yeah. As many songs y'all got together, y'all from, y'all from Atlanta, da da da. Like, he just dropped the ball, and like, I just feel like, mm -hmm. that is my favorite artist. I'm just like, bro. <laughs> that shit. It's very fucking hard to like really support him right now because of what the fuck he did. Like, you just took the easy way out, bro. Like, for real, for real. Mm -hmm. That is my favorite artist. I'm just like, bro. <laughs> that shit. It's very fucking hard to like really support him right now because of what the fuck he did. Like, you just took the easy way out, bro. Like, for real, for real. Just to come home and make that sorry ass post. No. This music still good. It's, I swear to God, I'm still gonna play yeah, business yeah. business, spend a big shit, hell of a night, da da da. Oh, just, still... just to come home and make that sorry ass post? No. This music still good. It's, I swear to God, I'm still gonna yeah, play yeah. business business, spend a big shit, hell of a night, da da da. Oh, just, uh, Peak I'm power. Still... I don't know that bitch. Like, I'm still gonna play, but I fuck all that. But like, here's my thing, right? Because like, if you look at the the legal way of taking a plea, taking a plea, you're just accepting the charge. Yeah, you're you're accepting the charge, and you're allowing yourself to be open for more trials in the future. Yeah, but he admitted that on tape, like that's the he didn't think that nobody was gonna get out with that. That nobody's gonna be in the jury. See, here's, that shit. here's my thing. I feel like, and this is why I keep saying, social media is such an evil place because <laughs> that shit, that shit should have never got out. Just like how Draymond Green punched the living daylight out of fucking um, Jordan <laughs> Poole. Stuff like that should not got out. But I'm saying, I'm 50 50. I feel as though he did. He did not give up everything, but he did give he up. up I mean, like, he look at people and like, damn, we should have said 10 toes, but like, let's be for real. If you're put into that situation, 
Are you staying ten toes down? Like let's think about let's think, and I'm not I'm not saying that this nigga is all he ain't rap da da da. Nah, I'm saying he's 50-50, But at the same time, we also gotta realize this motherfucker is human as well. Like, I just like I say like I say like this like the nigga like six nine. I just feel like I he understood could have why he snitched. He could have held on a little bit more. He could have. He definitely could have. But then I just feel I just feel as though like this where it's like all right, it's a lose lose for him. If he did snitch, if he snitch, he looked like a, he's a rat. But if he didn't snitch, if he would have never said, he that, would. He I think his time would be a lot longer. I don't think I think he him and Thug would be. It wouldn't be at a point where it's like yeah, they these days not coming home no time soon. But like. I don't know. But, because Bull, what's his name? He just got out. Who? Bobby's murder. Yeah. He has spent seven years for a charge. That, he that wasn't even his. He took his homie's charge. Yeah, that. But no, for, that he. Uh-huh. It's a not. It's not a lot of people that's built like that, man. No. It's not a lot of people that's built like that. But um, my biggest thing for this case is like I think I'm gonna say Thug will eventually get out. Um, like you said, it's probably like some probation and say like, oh, he can't leave the city of Atlanta for like X, Y, Z without permission. But I just believe like it was an interview. It was like uh, if y'all watch Million Dollar with the game, Wilo said it best. If you're gonna be a rapper, be a rapper. Like, don't prove to people that you're a tough guy or you do this or you do that. Like, it's a reason why you did this rapping shit so you can get out of your situation, not to bring your situation back yeah. into. Walker said it best. He was like, yeah. I um, make all this money off the songs and buy Rolls Royce just to drive through the hood. Like, I'm a, I bought it so I can stay out the hood. So, it's just my reverse psychology. Well, he did snitch, but then again, didn't, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, like, it's just... I don't know. It, it's the way how, however you're going to take it. But I always ask these people this. If you was in this situation. Again, you, stay, you put yourself in that situation. Yeah, you put yourself in a situation. So you accept it. You accept the charge. But like, at the same time. Yeah. Like, let's be for real. Like, yeah, if you knew that you didn't do what you did. You know what I'm saying? Are you staying 10 toes down? Because like. If I love how Gun is getting all the heat, but it's like what was it, like seven people that took the plea deal. Like, it's, it's, like but like none of them are Gunna though. Like it's no, always, yeah, it's always been Gunna, Thug, and Baby. No, yeah, but like I just feel I feel as though like if he didn't take the plea deal, then your baby it's a lose lose. If he don't say nothing, all right, then we're just gonna throw your ass in jail. So now y'all looking at Gunna like damn. This nigga's doing X, Y, Z. Oh, but yeah, he he's a real nigga. He he stayed ten toes down. What? So we just all saying fuck Gunner's family, huh? Because if Gun, let's call it let's call it Spade Spade. Like even yeah, if Thug goes to jail, everybody's losing money. Mm-hmm. Everybody. Mm-hmm. But if Gunner goes to jail, everybody on his side is losing money as well. It's a doggy dog world at this point. It's a doggy dog world. I swear to God, it is. It really is. But at the same time, I said, man, come on, man. Just stop. This, listen, I'm not saying the summer's almost here, but Thug usually is cooking up some shit for us around this time. Yeah. And y'all over there fucking things so. up. The album about to be hard, let's believe. Even the governor, I heard the governor is, is even saying free YSL. I'm How the governor is sitting here saying that, but the but the DA got his ass locked up. Hey, man, shit, please. shit don't make sense down there. Shit, hey. man. Thank you for watching. It's All a right. doggy dog world. It's a doggy dog fucking world. <laughs> it's a doggy dog world for real, for real, man. Don't be a dog, getting doggy dog. Be the doggy dog that's dogging. Exactly. Be Don't be the bone. Be the, the fucking dog that's buried in the bone. Describe this fucking game. Like now. Peace. Stupid rock, man.